Okay, so welcome everyone to ACUA's first virtual, completely virtual uh, awards ceremony. This is a, a really fantastic, wonderful thing for us to be able to do to recognize our award winners, not just at the SHA conference, which took place in January of this year, but also to be able to have a bigger group of, of folks here to recognize and allow us to share this recording on our social media and our website. So there's a bigger reach and everyone can get to recognize and acknowledge our award winners to, together. So I am Dr. Ashley Lemke. I am the current chair of ACUA, the Advisory Council on Underwater Archaeology. And I am joined today by ex officio chair Marco Manichetti and Geneva Wright, who is a current board member and ACUA's current secretary. So thank you, Marco and Geneva, for joining me today in this award ceremony. What we'll do is briefly introduce some of our award winners that could join us today. And then we'll allow them also to, of course, introduce themselves so you can see who's here and, and who ACUA has chosen to recognize. It's really wonderful that ACUA has had a growing number of, war, of awards over the last several years. So the first one I am going to start with actually is one that has a long history of ACUA is the 2022 winner of the George Fisher International Student Travel Award. And this year we recognize two students who were able to travel to the conference. And the first is Alicia, if you want to introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about your, your journey to SHA. Hi guys, uh, my name is Alicia Johnson and I am a graduate student at the University of Alexandria. I came to be aware about the um, award, thankfully uh, with uh, being affiliated with the NAS. And I was lucky enough to have been stateside at the time that the conference was going on. So I was able to attend the SHA in Philadelphia in person. And not only did I have the privilege of uh, meeting uh, Mr. Uh, my colleagues here and whatnot, but it was my my first in person conference. So uh, I am currently back in Alexandria and headed down to the Sinai later this week to go scuba diving on the Thistlegorm for my research. So I hope you all are having a great day. Okay, so congratulations, Alicia. <laughs> We're very happy to have supported you and, and travel for that conference and, and best wishes in the future. Um, don't be a stranger, make sure to keep in touch with us at, at ACUA. Uh, the other award winner that I want to recognize who could join us today is Miss Stephanie Sterling. She was awarded the very first ACUA Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion Student Travel Award. So this is a new award this year. It joins the George Fisher Travel Award, and it's part of the ACUA's effort to expand the opportunity and, and diverse representation for students and to acknowledge the contributions of organizations in the field of underwater and archaeology much more broadly than we necessarily have in the past. So Stephanie, if you want to introduce yourself, that would be wonderful. Hi, everyone. Uh, good morning and or good evening, wherever you are. <laughs> Thank you uh, also for this award. Um, it really is, uh, it's it helps defray a cost that is would make attending a conference like the SHAs um, pretty much impossible, especially with um, thesis work going on. So I'm a second year graduate student at East Carolina University in the history department program for maritime studies. Um, and yeah, so thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Also, let's congratulate Stephanie. Thank you for winning this award. Thank you for applying. And Stephanie has also joined us as a graduate student representative on, on ACUA this year. So we'll be seeing a lot of her in, in committees and she's already done a lot of really fantastic work. So thank you for that. Um, so now I wanna turn it over to our ex officio chair, Marco, who is gonna talk a little bit about ACUA's newest award. Thank you, Ashley. Uh this certificate, which the ACUA is presenting for the first time uh, this year, uh, was conceived as a means of recognizing and celebrating uh, the outstanding achievements and consistent excellence of organizations that have been uh, at the forefront of maritime archaeological research, uh, preservation, education, public education, 
And indeed, over the last several years, there have been a number of groups that have uh, grown up to, to meet the various criteria that we came up with for this award. And there were quite a few nominations uh, put forward and the nominating committee uh, really struggled because there are so many deserving groups uh, who uh, met the standards which we were, were hoping that the certificate would recognize. And in the end, we decided that the two, two particular organizations not only um, met all our standards, but really set the bar of what we want this award to represent in terms of acknowledging excellence and uh, ongoing excellence for that matter. And so we have two awards uh, to present in our inaugural year. And I'm going to allow Ashley to um, make the announcement. Thank you, Marco. Um, I think it's this is so wonderful that ACUA's awards are, are growing, of course, to represent and celebrate our students and allow them to attend the conference, but also to recognize this, these distinguished achievements of, of organizations that are all over the world. So the official title of this award is the Advisory Council on Underwater Archaeology Certificate of Distinguished Achievement. And the first of these will be awarded and has been awarded to the Underwater Archaeology Section of Parks Canada. And I'm just going to read briefly from the nomination statement. Formerly under the direction of Robert Grenier, this group has been at the forefront of underwater archaeological investigation for over 50 years and has greatly influenced the development of the discipline. Their research of, on the 16th century Spanish Basque whaling vessel at Red Bay, Labrador, was their crowning achievement, bringing light to much information about the ship's construction of that period. Their contribution to underwater archaeology continues to expand and grow with their significance, with their involvement with the Franklin expedition, expedition vessels in northern Canada. So ACOA is very, very, very happy to present this award to the underwater archaeology section of Parks Canada. So thank you all. And I'm going to have Mark Andre introduce himself and his team. Uh, well, thank you, Ashley. Thank you, Marco. And thank you very much to the uh, ACUA. This is, uh, this is truly um, a, great, uh, a great award to receive, a great honor for us. Um, and uh, maybe just before I pass it on to the, to the team, I just want to say that for us, it's not about, you know, we don't do this for awards. Uh, obviously, we're passionate about what we do and, and, and we we're passionate about our discipline. But it is a very, I think, um, uh, appreciated by us uh, to receive this from our peers because to be recognized by by our peers is something that uh, that we uh, we thrive for. We uh, we have a history of almost sixty years of uh, as a team, and um, uh, throughout those years we've learned from our pre predecessor, as you mentioned, Rabia's team, uh, or at that time. Um, that the standards uh, needed to be set quite high and we're just trying to survive to those standards at times but uh, hoping to improve them as well um, and it's also very uh, we're very happy to receive this at the same time as as the team from ina um, uh, felicidades a todos uh, y todas uh, roberto a su equipo um, and uh, again uh, thank you for everything so it is a team effort. Uh, there's we we do what we do because we're a very uh, very uh, closely linked team uh, and with very talented people, I believe. Um, so I'll let every one of them uh, introduce themselves, starting with Jonathan, who actually has the award in, in hand. Thank you again, ACUA. Uh, can everyone hear me? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, uh, Ashley. That was wonderful. Thank you so much, and thanks to the ACUA. Um, I'm Jonathan Moore. I'm the acting manager of the underwater archaeology team at present, and uh, I happen to have the award uh, here with me. And um, I've circulated uh, a photo of the certificate to the team, and uh, we will be proudly mounting it in our uh, office um, in due course, um, and we'll put it uh, in a common area for everyone to see. So thank you again, uh, Ashley and uh, the nomination committee and the HD way. Thanks. Maybe you go next. I, I can see Charles, but <laughs> maybe we'll roll through the uh, the team. 
Sure, I don't have much to add, uh, but I, I just want to yeah, um, say again, thank you. Um, this means a lot to, to us as a team, but also to me personally. Um, merci beaucoup. Okay, I think we have uh, John and Brandy in the uh, in their office there. And Brandy, uh, underwater archaeologist with Parks. Again, thank you very much, the ACUA. John Ratcliffe, I'm a newer member of the team, but uh, I'm an ECU alum from about 10 years ago, so it's great to see some uh, ECU students uh, uh, getting some awards as well. And I remember the ACUA fondly from the um, annual photo competition you guys used to do at the SHA. It was another great event you guys did. So yeah, the award means a lot. Thank you. I think we have Joe there too. Hi, yeah, just me left, I think. Um, thank you very much. Uh, I'm the data tech on the team, so it's pretty neat. Thanks. And Malaya, Malaya uh, Bishop as well. Hi, thanks. I'm also a very new member to the team. I haven't uh, dove yet, but um, that'll be happening soon. Uh, so looking forward to uh, what's to come. And um, yeah, this, this is a really nice reward to have. Thanks, thanks. Maya. And we, we do have some other team members who are either out of the office or um, are otherwise uh, unable to attend. So. I think that was it, right, Mark? Uh, I think that's everyone. Yeah. Yes. Thank well, you. thank you all so much for, for coming today or, or yeah, whatever time it is for you um, this morning. We so appreciate getting to, to see you all and, and meet you all and, and get to recognize you. Uh, for the new members of the team, no pressure, but you have a, a pretty high bar <laughs> to achieve. Uh, and it's it's been so wonderful to, to have these connections between your organization and, and ACUA and, and be able to recognize you in, in this manner. So congratulations once again. And secondly, uh like marco had mentioned um there were so many nominations for this award which is uh i think very telling of how many committed individuals and organizations there are in the underwater archaeology community and you know it's it's the first year of an award it was brand new but we were just flooded forgive the underwater pun with with nominations so as marco mentioned the committee chose to highlight two organizations this year and the second i will also read a little bit from their nomination I would like to nominate the subdirection, the Archaeologica Subaquatica sub SAS of the National Institute of Anthropology and History, or INA, as an institution who has since 1980, led by Pilar Luna, devoted itself to the study, protection, and conservation of underwater cultural heritage of Mexico and Latin America. So with this, I would like to recognize Roberto and have him introduce himself and accept this this award of the Certificate of Distinguished Achievement. So congratulations. Hello, everybody. Ashley, thank you, Marco. Uh, it is really a great honor uh, for us to receive this uh, award. I know how much uh, Pilar put uh, chipped in effort uh, to Aqua and how much she learned from, from uh, Aqua throughout the years. So what this award tells me is that um, in the past we've done things right and that we kind of continue to do things right and um, and as Mark Andres said you know we have a a high bar to to keep uh, doing our work uh, we're also very happy to receive it with Parks Canada because we have a long history of uh, Robert and Pilar were really good friends they worked in the convention uh, Mark Andre came to Mexico many years ago to give courses now we're working in, in Jamaica helping the Jamaicans so we have a long history with them and, and we respect them and see them as kind of like our big brothers. And so to receive the award with them is like a big honor as well. And uh, this, this award kind of uh, tells us that we have to continue this, this good work that has been done in the past. And uh, so it's, a, it's a, something that we appreciate a lot. We already have it hanging in our office and uh, very proudly and uh, thank you so much for for this award it's really a, a pleasure and honor and, uh, and a commitment to continue thank you 
Well, again, I just want to, to thank you all for, for joining us. We're going to share this far and wide um, and advertise this on our website as well as our social media account. So um, this recognition will, will travel the world. I This was not our original plan for this award, but I think it's very telling that both of these are international organizations that are outside the United States that have just done fantastic, wonderful work. And we're so happy to, to recognize our international partners and an underwater archaeologist working on, on different time periods all over. So I want to remind everyone watching this that our call for awards for next year is open right now. So if yourself or you know an organization that you feel is worthy of recognition, please let us know. It can be found on the ACUA website under the awards tab, which is at the bottom of the web page. We have multiple student awards. And of course, we're now going to do the next year for the ACUA Certificate of Distinguished Achievement. So please don't hesitate to apply, to nominate, to self-nominate, to nominate your friends and colleagues, and keep in touch with ACUA. And with that, I just want to thank everyone one more time. And if anybody has any parting words, just jump in. But thank you and, and congratulations, everyone, again. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Ashley. Thank you, thank you Ashley. Thanks.